hello guys welcome back to my channel so in this video quickly we're going to be making a customized lightning whipped soap from the base that i made in my previous video so if you missed that video you can go back to watch to see how i made the base so this is the base that i made from the previous video and then i'm going to be using this base to make my whipped customized soap for skin lightning so here i'm going to be measuring 200 grams of my soap base and after this i'm going to be measuring in my active ingredients here i am using my kojic acid dipalmitate kojic acid dipalmitate is a strong lightning powder which is oil soluble its ph lies between four and nine which makes it a perfect active ingredient to use for this soap because this soap has a ph of eight and nine we learned this from our previous video where we made the soap base also i'm using five percent of kojic acid that permitted here which is about 12.5 grams because i'm making 250 grams of this whipped soap now five percent may be a bit high for kojic acid that which usage rate is about two to three but i'm using this percentage here because i want it to have an intense lightning effect and i know you will ask me if it is safe yes it's safe because this is a rinse of product so please i would not advise you to use kojic acid five percent in a leave in product so i'm going to pre-dissolve my kojic acid that permitted before adding it into my main recipe and then i'm going to be using my sunflower oil to do this I'm having 50 grams of sunflower oil now this sunflower oil is also going to act as a moisturizing agent it will help the soap not to be too drying and that's one advantage a whipped soap has over a bath soap because yeah in bath soap you can no longer add any other thing so yeah i'm going to dissolve my project acid that permitted until it's fully fully dissolved and then i'm going to be adding my remaining ingredients here so that they can all well be incorporated i'm going to be adding my vitamin e oil into this so i'm adding my vitamin e oil into this oil phase to act as an antioxidant i am also going to be adding my milk fragrance this is really optional because i already added fragrance in the main soap base but you can go ahead to add yours i'm adding this here because i wanted to change the fragrance of the soap Okay, so then I'm adding a yellow mica powder to change the color of the soap because I didn't like the color of that base. That color was actually the natural color we got from the soap base. I didn't add any extra color. I think grapeseed oil gave us that color, but it was not attractive. So I just wanted to add an attractive color to make it really appealing to use. So yeah, I'm adding all the ingredients that have been mixed together into my soap base and then i'm just going to mash this with my hands first before i get in my hand mixer to mix to whip it all together so after mashing with my hands i'm just going to whip with my mixer to give this whipped fluffy feel now like i said this soup is going to give an intense whitening it's a rinse of product so it's really really safe to use twice a day this soap can also be used on the face and note that it is not going to bleach your skin for you to see effect using this soap you have to use it for like four weeks for you to start seeing effect it can be used by all skin type except probably you have a sensitive skin or maybe you don't like using bad soaps the soap is also not bad to be used on children but please they are not advisable to be used on babies and yes you can add extra powders to this it's still very okay and it will be nice and safe to use please do not forget to give this video a thumb up and please subscribe to this channel it's totally free we have more beautiful and amazing recipes that are coming your way one of your frequently asked questions will be like can we preserve this soup this soup does not need a preservative and the chef life is just like the chef life of your normal bar soup this soup can stay as long as one year or two years and so on yes if stored properly so yes our soup is ready our homemade whipped soup is ready this is prime side recipe because <laughs> 
i'm not sure i learned this recipe from anywhere neither did i watch it from anywhere but i used the soup and i thought to share the recipe with you it was really nice and great okay so you can give this a try if you're going to do so please let me know down there in the comment section and if you have any more questions please ask me in the comment section for more details on how to source your ingredients please check the description box and make sure to use a nice cream when using this soap don't feel like this soap is a magic soap that will do all the magic for you assist the soap with a good body cream or body butter to enhance the effectiveness on your skin so thank you guys for watching it's always love from me to you and trust me i appreciate your I hope to see you in my next video. For now, take care. Bye.